Welcome to the channel Easy Way to Physics with Jaya. Today we can learn about ray diagrams. How the images are formed in the case of convex lens when the object is placed at different positions. Also what are the peculiarities of the images formed. Before starting if you did not subscribe the channel please subscribe it. Also tap the bell button to get the notifications. The first step to draw a ray diagram accurately is to draw the lens correctly also mark the center of curvature focus and optic center of the lens. In my previous video I explained how to mark the center of curvature focus and optic center accurately. Now here using a very sharp pencil and compass we draw two circles overlapping circles and we mark C1, C2 as the center of curvatures that is the center of those circles itself and F1 and F2 the F1 is the midpoint of C1O and F2 is the midpoint of C2O where O is the center of the overlapping part that is the center of the lens and if you have any doubt in marking the C1, C2, F1 and F2 Please watch my previous video. First case is to draw the ray diagram to show the image formation when the object is kept at infinity. If the object is at infinity and the lens is in the vertical position, the incident rays of light will be parallel to the principal axis. Here we can draw rays of light which are parallel to the principal axis. Here you can see six rays of light parallel to the principal axis. The rays which are falling on the upper part of the lens bends downwards and passes through the focus. The rays which are falling on the lower part of the lens bends upwards after refraction and passes through the focus. In short, all the rays will converge at focus and the image will be formed at the focus on the other side of the lens that is F2. So we get a real inverted and very small diminished image at F2. Case 2 is to show the image formation when the object is kept beyond 2F. Beyond 2F means beyond C1. So the first step is as before draw the lens mark C1, C2, F1, F2 mark the object also position of the object. We can mark with an arrow mark. Now uh, the second step is draw the ray parallel to the principal axis any one ray parallel to the principal axis starting from the top of the object we can draw. After refraction this ray will pass through the focus, principal focus on the other side of the lens. Step 3 we draw another ray which is passing through the optic center. Draw a ray passing through the optical center after refraction passes without any deviation and these two rays crosses intersect between F2 and C2 where the image is formed and this intersecting point is coming below the principal axis so we get an inverted image. So image formed will be inverted and between F2 and C2. Also, it will be a diminished image, small image. Case 3, the ray diagram to show the image formation when the object is kept at 2F. This is the most difficult case because we are drawing the object at C1 or at 2F and the image also should form at C2 means 2F on the other side of the lens at the sharp position. If any mistake in drawing you will not get the image at the correct position and this case we discussed in detail in my previous video if you have any doubt you can watch that video.
I'll give the link in the description box. Here also the first step is to draw the lens and mark C1, C2, F1 and F2. Draw the object at C1. These are the common steps we are doing in all tray diagrams. Now the second step is to draw two rays. First ray parallel to the principal axis. Pass through the principal focus on the other side of the lens after refraction. Step 3. Draw the ray passing through the optic center which goes without any deviation. The two refracted rays crosses at a point below C2 and since they are crossing below the principal axis we are getting an inverted image. So we have to draw an inverted image at C2. Size of the image will be the same as that of the object. Since these two rays are meeting actually we are getting the real image. So the characteristics of the image formed is at 2f real inverted and same as the size of the object. Case 4 image formation when the object is kept between f and 2f. Step 1 is same as before. Draw the lens, mark C1, F1, C2 and F2. Now draw the object in between C1 and F1. Anywhere in between C1 and F1 we can draw the object. Step 2, draw the ray parallel to the principal axis which will pass through the focus after refraction as we did in all other cases. Here also the same thing. First ray we draw parallel to the principal axis and falling on the lens. After refraction it passes through the focus. Step 3. Draw the ray passing through the optical center which will pass without any deviation. It will go straight. And these two rays will cross at a point beyond C2 and the point the crossing point will be below the principal axis. We can draw the image at this crossing point. Since the crossing point is coming below the principal axis we are getting an inverted image. Also see the size of the image it is bigger than the object. Or we say we are getting an enlarged image. And these rays are meeting actually at a point or crossing at a point. So we say the real image is formed. Characteristics of image is real, inverted and enlarged. Position of the image is beyond C2. So we say beyond C2 or beyond 2F. We are getting a real inverted and enlarged image when the object is placed between C1 and F1 or between F1 to F. Case 5. The image formation when the object is kept at focus. Step 1 is the same as before. Draw the lens mark C1, F1, C2 and F2. Step 2. Draw the object at F1. Then step 3. Draw a ray of light parallel to the principal axis. After refraction it passes through the focus. The second ray starts from the top of the object and passes through the optical center which goes without any deviation, goes straight. Now we can see both these refracted rays are not at all crossing each other. They go parallelly. Or we say that they meet at infinity. There is possibility they may meet at infinity. So we say a real inverted and enlarged image is formed at infinity. Inverted image because the possibility of meeting these rays is below the principal axis. Case 6. 
image formation when the object is kept between the focus and optical center of convex lens. So the step 1, step 2 and step 3 are the same as before. We draw the lens first, mark C1, C2, F1 and F2. Then draw the object between the focus and optical center like we did in the di this diagram. First ray we take from the top of the object parallel to the principal axis after refraction passes through the focus on the other side of the lens. Second ray start from the top of the object and passes through the optical center without any deviation. Now look at the refracted rays. They are not meeting at a point. They are not crossing. They appear as if they are diverging from a point on the same side of the object. Now, if the refracted rays are produced backwards, if we draw them backwards, we can see they meet at a point. And at this point, image is formed. Remember, the refracted rays are not meeting at a point. They appear as if they diverge from a point on the same side of the object where the image is formed. We think the image is formed there and we say the image formed is not real, it is a virtual image. So when the object is placed between the focus and optical center of the convex lens, image formed is virtual image. And see the size of the image, it is bigger than the object, so enlarged image is formed. And the meeting point of the refractor rays, they appear as if they are coming from a point we said. And that point is above the principal axis. So we say it is erect image, the straight image. So characteristics of image formed is virtual, erect and enlarged. And it is formed beyond 2F or beyond C, C1 itself. This is the case when we use convex lens as reading lens. When we use convex lens as reading lens, we keep the lens near to the letters in a book. That means the letters are the objects there. Those objects are coming between the focus and optical center of the lens and it forms a bigger image. We can see the letters bigger. They appear as if they are bigger than their original size. This is a comparative study of image formation in convex lens. See the first row and the fifth row. When the object is at infinity, image formed at the focus F2, highly diminished and point sized image. It is real and inverted also. And see the fifth row. When the object is at focus, image is formed at infinity and the infinitely last image, image is real and inverted. So compare those two. When the object is at infinity, image is formed at the focus. When the object is formed, uh, placed at the focus, image is formed at the infinity. Now compare the row 2 and row 4, second row and fourth row. When the object is placed beyond 2F, image is formed between focus and C, center of curvature, or between F2 and 2F2. When the object is placed between F1 and 2F1, image is formed beyond 2F2. And in that case, image is enlarged, real and inverted. So compare these two and study. Now, if the object is at 2F, image is also at 2F, same size, real and inverted. And when the object is Placed between focus and optical center, image is formed uh, beyond 2F on the same side of the lens, enlarged, virtual and erect. Now, we can summarize and remember it very easily in this way. Remember the positions of the objects first. At infinity, 
beyond 2f1, at 2f1, between f1 and 2f1, at the focus f1 and between focus f1 and optical center O. These are the positions of the objects. That means from infinity when you move the object towards the lens. What about the position of the image? In the first case, when the object is at infinity, image is formed at the focus. When object is beyond 2f, between f2 and 2f2, image is formed. Then at 2f2, beyond 2f2, at infinity and on the same side of the lens. That means image moves away from the lens when the object moves closer to the lens. So compare and study and remember all positions and nature of the image. Please draw and practice all these drawings very important. Please enter your doubts and suggestions in the comment box. Subscribe the channel and tap the bell button to get the notifications. Thank you.